Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about satellite radio, another genre of radio. Satellite radio is defined by the International Telecommunications Union's ITU radio regulations as a broadcasting satellite service. The satellite signals are broadcast nationwide across a much wider geographical area than terrestrial radio stations. And the service is primarily intended for the occupants of motor vehicles. It is available by subscription, mostly commercial free and offers subscribers more stations and wider variety of programming options than the terrestrial radio. So as I told you, uh, satellite radio is a type of digital broadcast which transmits audio signal over large areas with clarity and uh, clarity and consistency than conventional radio. Okay, a satellite radio uh, service works by transmitting its signal from ground-based station to one or more satellites orbiting the earth. So satellite, so in simple terms, okay, you can say that Satellite radio is digital radio that receives signals from a communication satellite. Okay, it is very simple. Okay, a digital radio signal uh, covers a wide geographical area and also allow it allows listeners to roam across the entire continent listening to the same audio programming anywhere they go. So we know the problem with this conventional radio thing. Like, you know, if you are just traveling from Ernakulam to Trishur, it the uh, the program gets like the program gets cut, like you know, when you when you cross the borders of uh, that particular district. Why? Because we are using we listen to FM stations and it has a coverage that is like 20 kilometers or something like that. So it is like, you know, it is very difficult to you know, you won't be e even like you know, if you're traveling from um, uh, you know, uh, Parashala to Kasurgod. Uh, so you can see that, like, uh, uh, in like in in your journey, you will listen to different radio stations. Okay, so digital radio, I mean, um, satellite radio is not like that. It allows listeners to roam across the continent, not just the state, not the, just the country, but the continent. Listen to the same audio programs anywhere they go. And a little bit of history about satellite radio. Sirius Radio, Sirius Radio began in 1919 while XM Radio started in 1992. Starting in early 21st century when satellite radio hooks, hookups became more feasible, the competition between these two companies became fierce. The competition entered in 2007 when Sirius bought, bought out XM Radio. And the two major satellite radio providers in the United States, Sirius Radio and XM Radio, began operations in the early 1990s. How a satellite radio works? Okay, satellite radio uses stationary transmitters which have limited range to broadcast, uses mobile transmitters orbiting the Earth. They pick up radio signals straight from orbiting satellites. And the satellite bounces the transmitted radio frequency of uh, the satellites and out to millions of satellite radio listeners around the world. So you can see this thing, okay? So you can see the orbit here in this picture. Um, I mean, a satellite here and uh, an antenna, terrestrial antenna, and how they pick up signal from this. And you can see this, all these, um, you know, um, you know, cars, house, and big, um, you know, big complexes. You can see the antenna, so you can directly receive the signal from the satellite. Okay, and uh, Sirius Satellite Radio is uh, one of the popular um, 
satellite uh, radio station in the world operated in the United States and Canada provide 69 channels of music, 65 channels of news, sports and entertainment broadcast 24 hours a day, commercial free from three satellites. So, so they transmit from three satellites and it is commercial free. <coughs> Excuse me, that is another difference. Uh, you know, between just conventional radio and uh, satellite radio, you can enjoy commercial free music. And um, see, the annual subscription is written there. And next is XM Satellite Radio, United States and Canada, 73 music, 39 uh, news and sports and entertainment, 29 regional traffic and weather, 23 play by play sports channels. And, uh, uh, you know, the subscription charge is mentioned there. And advantages. So, what are the advantages of satellite radio? So, I've already mentioned that information about local traffic and weather conditions. Absence of static, it produces clear crystal sound, and programs are not interrupted by commercials. So, so that's, uh, those are the advantages, but disadvantages you need to pay a subscription fee. The other local events, you know, you don't have to pay any fee, right? Yeah, that is free. And uh, as they don't have, uh, you know, commercials, uh, uh, so you have to, you know, it's like, you know, you have to pay. So they work only on the subscription charges, okay. And signal interruption, if it is like bad weather or something, like, you know, like your DTH, you have this direct to home services, uh, like your, uh, you know, Videocon and, you know, uh, what else is there, Videocon, Dish TV, uh, then you have uh, um, Tata Sky and all. You know, when you get, uh, when you have a bad weather, it it will like you know. Uh, uh, so it, it, you know, you you find it difficult to get the signal. Sometimes it just stops, and you know, sometimes it just gives you warning, like you know, heavy raining or you know, uh, or lightning and all. Okay, and signal limitation that is another thing, and it is non-local. Okay, it is not local because I told you it's for a very huge. Uh, geographical area so um, you know it is like they would be able to produce local stuff but when you listen to FMs and also the important thing is like you know they uh, the FM stations are full of like uh, local stuff and local content and very appealing for the people and world space satellite radio it's kind of you know an Indian um, you know satellite radio and it has about 40 channels 60 journals and the widest variety of programming and they have unmatched digital quality music and RGs with in-depth knowledge of the genre accessible anywhere in India and they have an annual subscription fee of 1800 um, and um, one-time satellite installer like you know you need to uh, like you know uh, you need to install uh, like you have this Tata Sky uh, antenna and all no like that you need to install uh, this one-time installation is required for all these kinds of, um, uh, you know, uh, all these kinds of uh, satellite uh, radios, okay. So, that is very important in satellite radio, okay. And if you, like, visit the website of this World Space uh, Satellite Radio, you can see that, you know, uh, their, uh, it's very appealing, uh, like, if, uh, their uh, thing is, like, uh, really appealing, okay. Um, it says that if music is what you, what makes your uh, world go round, then world space satellite radio is just what you need, okay. And they say that play crystal clear digital quality music 24-7 without annoying ads and over the top ads. So they have all these claims, just visit their website, you can see that... Uh, um, you know, uh, see uh, all these radios, uh, you know, they claim like this, okay, especially, you know, what is annoying us is sometimes the RJs and the ads, so it's like, you know, it's ad free and RJ free, okay, and uh, usually you have a doubt how can you get this uh, particular satellite radio, it's like, you know, you can just, uh, you know, log on to their site and you can just ask them for, uh, uh, they will ask you to fill up certain details. You just fill your details. They will come to your doorstep. Okay. So that you, I mean, for, you know, they will install the whatever necessary, um, you know, equipment for you. 
and uh, the cost is also not that uh, like high like you know one time satellite receiver installation fee is there like you buy your set top box and all no so you have to pay a, a one time fee installation fee there plus you have a subscription charge like you pay for your cable tv your uh, dish tv and all no for that la that you need to pay an amount that is also very important <coughs> and it will be to conclude it will be an intelligent communications device that will offer most services and conveniences that can be provided by conventional technology for the broadcaster digital radio is not just a way to stay competitive with other forms of digital sound but one that offers numerous new business opportunities as well so it is a bright future for listeners and broadcasters alike a future that truly promises to provide the best sound on the airwaves for the world thank you